Hi, I just wanted to talk you through um, a new product which is the Excel control suite for MetaTrader. And this is a rewrite of the old system. Um, basically the the system allows traders to use Excel as a way to control underlying indicators and expert advisors. At the moment these are specifically um, FX Algo Trader versions, so i.e. pivot systems uh, and various other expert advisors such as Trendline Auto Trade. Um, the pivot scanner and the statistical arbitrage engine. Um, you can see the actual interface on the top left hand corner of the screen here. Um, this is the kind of main menu and first thing I need to do is actually load a customized expert advisor called Handler, Handler version 2. What this does is it basically scans um, underlying CSV files for control information which allows us to display in this case daily pivots which have just popped up. So if I want to edit those pivots I can very simply go into my interface and I go into line control and I can simply look at or simply make changes to any of the actual pivot lines on here. I've got a full array of line colors, styles, um, I've got widths, pivot label for controls in terms of font, weight, size, um, customized pivot label text, uh, nudge, a nudge label facility which allows you to move the label um, on the x-axis uh, i.e. left or right so that uh, you can actually display multiple pivot lines and pivot labels and, and set them up so that they don't actually uh, um, interfere with each other so they're all very cl all clearly visible. I can also change the system to display the lines as rays or I can have a, a specific extension um, which you can trim to your own requirements. I can also change the line lengths given or, or set by period so at the moment they're all, it will all display uh, the same length line for each period but I can change that accordingly. I can then also suppress whether M levels are shown or hidden um, and I've also got predefined templates here so I may want to change or have a a pivot template which I can apply very quickly to a chart. So I've just changed this all to to basically all blue except for the central pivot line which is in Alice blue. Let's change that so it's a bit more visible to antique white and we'll make it a bit thicker. And if we close the settings or close this, this panel those settings will then be applied to the system so you can see here the, the central pivot lines in antique white is slightly thicker and you've got blue um, blue main pivot lines over there. Let's actually display our, our M levels as well, intermediate levels. So we just uncheck the hide M level box, apply those settings and it just waits for a tick and there you go you've now got the full pivot array there from S3 to R3. We may want to change proximity alerts so in this case um, we can actually configure the system to give us an audible alert if price action um, is within a specific threshold of any pivot line. So for example if I wanted to put a, an alert around the central pivot of with a 10 pip upper channel and a 10 pip lower channel I can give the alert a color, so let's use Azure, and I can give it a style, line styling. So if I apply those settings now, you will see in a second when some tick data comes in, the actual alert style or the alert has been set up around the central pivot, um, 10 pips either side of it. Let's just broaden this out a little bit so you can see that more clearly. So there you've got your 10 pip channel around the central pivot. I can also set up um, the actual pivot calculation period here. So at the moment I'm, I'm not shifting my pivot calculation period but I may want to change the way it's calculated and so I can actually change the beginning and end calculation times by shifting them by a specific number of hours, either negative or positive to either advance or retard the pivot calculation window so that traders can actually synchronize their, their trading time frames um, with the markets they trade. 
and also bearing in mind where they are in the world. So I can also show calculation points for these time frames. So let's show those as well. Apply those settings. And you can now see two dots represent the beginning and the end of the calculation period. So that's our calculation window when the pivot that's basically where the pivots are calculated from. Um, we can also change the display, the data display. So at the moment that's let's move that up to the top of the screen. So let's put that at five and say five. And we'll change the colour as well to blanched almond. And you can now see the main pivot data display is moved up to the top. It gives us our dates, so the start calculation date and the end calculation date as well. And let's just load up our colors again here. This is in beta, so there's a few bugs here, so you've got to bear with me. <laughs> So on the next tick, you'll see the calculation points displayed again there, representing the actual calculation window. Um, so basically, this is the this is where the the system is going to go. Um, the performances will be much better than this, uh, bec partly because I'm running Camtasia to record um, what I'm what I'm doing, which slows my whole system down. Um, the plan is is to basically develop the system so that the group 1 pivots and also group 2 pivots are available for display on the same chart. This means that traders can actually layer over multiple um, pivot systems which have got um, adjusted levels of shift so you can effectively model uh, say GMT pivots, EST pivots and also Asian pivots to, so that you can get an idea of where all the all the different pivot levels lie um, without having to kind of mess about with loads of charts. Um, the plan will be to roll this out across all the FX algo trader products, so market flow, critical events, etc, etc. Um, anyway, that's just a flavour. It's still work in progress, but I just wanted to let traders see um, the new interface and welcome any comments. Um, thanks very much for listening. Cheers.